Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, don't they, they come into a dark period just before the acquisition of signal again. The right. Terminator, the, the, the dark side of the moon, as far as the sun is concerned, is actually about halfway, a little more than halfway around the moon. And they're in it now, or should be. And we should be hearing something in the next 20 seconds or so. Uh, these are breath-holding moments. Got word from them very shortly, it's hoped. Boy, that circuit up from Houston is certainly silent right now. <laughs> Be nice to have Jack Riley say anything on there. We've got it turned on. It's piping through. AOS. AOS, he said? They would pick up one of yeah. So they do have a telemetry signal from the spacecraft. It has come around. According to our simulation here, they should be seeing that Earth rise on the far horizon of the moon now. We are getting data. We don't have any voice communication yet. But at the time we got data indicates it was a very good burn. Meaning that the data came through at precisely 512. Jack Riley was on there immediately thereafter saying AOS, as you heard, acquisition of signal. The data comes down and thousands of bits of information per second. It's the telemetry information that is fed from all of the systems aboard the spacecraft, as well as the biological uh, reports, you know, respiration, heartbeat. Besides that, there are the voice circuits and the television circuits. I don't want to talk too much here because we want to hear those first words when they come through. Hello, Apollo 10, Houston, over. Uh, Roger, Houston, Apollo 10, you can tell the world that we have arrived. Roger, Dan, it's good to hear from you. I would believe this thing. That was John Young. The guidance was absolutely fantastic, and we'll give you the, the burns right now. This engine is just beautiful. Charlie, my hat's off to the guys in the trench. I love them. Yeah, give that man that runs MSFN. I don't know that I can do that, though, but I'll say thank you. Okay, Charlie, ready to copy your burns? Go ahead. Yeah, say thank you big. Are you ready to copy the uh, post-burn report? Roger, go. Okay, the burn was on time. The burn time was 5 plus 5, 6. Our roll pitch and your angle's guidance was all good. Our uh, residuals were zero, minus 0.2 and zero. Delta VC read 7.0. That's minus 7.0. The fuel remaining is 37.7%. Oxidizer is 39.5%. The unbalance, I'd like to talk about the present unbalance, is 500 increase. We're in a 169.1 by a 59.6. The chamber pressure increased smoothly throughout the burn from 98 to 103 with up at the second ball valve initiation. Mm -hmm. I, I take that back, Charlie. It, it bounced up to 98 and then smoothly from 98 on to 103 with all four ball valves on. The, the unbalance, are you still with me? Roger, go ahead. Standing by, over. Okay, I watched the unbalance uh, go from where we left it at uh, 200 uh, decrease from the short burns. I didn't touch it until after everything settled down after we were into the burn for 30 minutes. At that time, the imbalance was 300 to 350 decrease. I put the uh, oxidizer flow valve in a de decrease position. I brought it uh, up to zero. I uh, closed it, and uh, then it started on up. After it hit about 150 increase, I put it to increase, and it held it. Barely held it, uh, and it creeped up from uh, like about 250 to the present point at uh, 500. I actually neutralized the uh, flow valve at uh, about 
seconds before the burn ended, and when I put it to normal, then the increase went from about 400 to 500. This is John Young reporting on the burn of the service propulsion system engine, which put the command ship and its attached to lunar module into an absolutely perfect orbit around the moon, as had been planned months, even years ago, and is in the uh, in their logbook. They did exactly as uh, they were expected to do. The engines performed exactly as they were expected to perform, and the orbit around the moon is exactly what they had anticipated. It is uh, an important moment in the history of the Apollo program since this is the first firing of the uh, service propulsion system engine with the uh, lunar module attached uh, in uh, the lunar environment, and uh, there was no... Uh, uh, trouble with it, no anomalies, as they would say, in the uh, space program, no vibrations, no difficulties that might have been uh, anticipated. They did not happen, and everything is going exceedingly well up there. You heard the uh, happy voices of the astronauts as they came around the far side of the moon, and for the first time there in almost 45 minutes, were back in touch with Earth and could report uh, that they were in lunar orbit and that all was going well. They passed their, uh, their congratulations to to the MSFN, the Manned Space Flight Network, for all of its work uh, in uh, putting them right on target. They were only one mile off and 11 minutes off when they arrived uh, by the moon uh, earlier today. They had only made one mid-course correction out of a possible four in their long three-day flight to the moon. Now they spend uh, two revolutions around the moon at this orbit, going out as far as 195 miles from the moon in the Apolloon or Apogee, the high point around the moon, come back to that 69-mile low point. They fire their engines again at, uh, at the end of four hours to circularize the orbit at 69 miles, a little over 68, between 68 and 69 miles high and uh, they stay in that orbit then uh, through uh, their stay uh, around the moon and uh, up to the time tomorrow when Tom Stafford and Eugene Sermon, Cernan depart from the uh, command ship in the lunar module, sweep down to within 10 miles of the moon's surface. Tonight at uh, 9.34 approximately, they're planning to send television to us uh, as, they, uh, as they are in their moon orbit and Cernan climbs down into the lunar module for a couple of hours of testing of instruments and so forth at 10.30 tonight. We will be on the air for the uh, television coverage this evening beginning at 9.30 Eastern Time. This is Walter Cronkite at the CBS News Space Center. This has been a CBS News special report, The Flight of Apollo 10.